hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and today in this video i will be solving a numerical based upon the method of joint previously i have added a video about the types of truss and the different methods of analysis of truss you can check it out in the link in the description and without wasting time let's begin the solution now and in the verge of solution of this numerical we have to first check the, the whether the given truss is cantilever truss or other than cantilever truss as you can see this truss is not the cantilever truss it means we need to find the reaction a and b if it were cantilever truss then we do not need to find the reaction so let's uh, this is not cantilever truss so let's let us assume that reaction at a is r a and reaction at b is R B. Now, our first step is going to be to apply the condition of static equilibrium in this truss for finding the reaction at A and B. So, write it down. We all know that the condition of static equilibrium is summation h is equal to zero means summation sum of forces in horizontal direction is equal to zero. Summation v is equal to zero means sum of forces in vertical direction is equal to zero. And summation m is equal to zero means sum of moments is equal to zero. So here, as you can see in the given diagram, there is no any horizontal forces. So our first uh, condition, static equilibrium condition, is summation h is equal to zero. And uh, there is no any horizontal forces, so it will be automatically equal to zero. Now, we need to use summation v is equal to zero. This is our second statical equilibrium, means sum of forces in vertical direction. Here, there are only three forces which are acting in vertical direction. That is reaction at A and reaction at B and force at D. So, this will be written as uh, upward forces is taken as positive and downward forces is taken as negative. So, R A plus R B minus two equals to zero implies R A plus R B equals to two kilonewton. Now let's apply the condition of uh, moment that is summation m is equal to zero. Taking moment about A and we all know the sign convention for finding moment is of this type positive positive negative negative and i am going to follow the sign convention of this type this side means uh, our right hand side which is clockwise uh, clockwise is taken as negative and anti-clockwise taken as positive so on finding moment about a rb is acting clockwise direction so rb into 7 which is our clockwise now and uh, this 2 kilo newton is acting anti-clockwise direction so this will be negative minus 2 into 6 equals to 0 now from here we will find the value of rb which will be given as this is 1.71 kilo newton 1.71 kilo newton now after getting the value of rb put the value of rb in this equation we will get the value of ra here we have got the value of ra now let's apply the condition of equilibrium at a we will consider each and every joint one by one we will first consider point joint a and similarly b then d and we will apply the condition of equilibrium in those point and then we will find the unknown forces in a member ac that is fac ad that is fad that is bc fcd and fbd we will consider each and every uh, joints and then we will draw the free body diagram let's learn how to draw the free body diagram and uh, let's find the force uh, assuming the considering the joint a now as i have considered the joint a here here now let's draw the free body diagram of a then it will be drawn as now after drawing the free body diagram of A, we need to represent force. Whenever we are representing the force, we need to represent it away from the joints, except reaction. Reaction is acting toward the joint and all the forces will act outward from the joint. Like FAC, this will be act outward 
and FAD FAD is along the span AD so this will be also represented as outward so FAD now we will apply the conditions that is summation H is equal to 0 and summation V is equal to 0 and to find the unknown forces FAC and FAD so let's learn how this is done now here I have written summation H is equal to 0 means sum of forces in horizontal direction is equal to 0 here our a f a d is acting in horizontal direction so this will be written as f a d plus now see here f a c is acting at 30 degree this means we need to resolve this force in horizontal direction now here we need to do some sign convention like we used to draw in graph this act positive x positive y negative x negative y similarly if we are resolving this FAC along this with respect to this FAD then these both forces are acting toward positive direction so we need to take here positive sign so this will be given as FAD plus FAC now here it forms a triangle it is forming a triangle and this is our B so it will be written as uh, FAC cos 30 degree is equal to 0 I will show you how why we take here cos 30 this is why we, we do did that cos 30 is equal to is equal to b by h and this is our b f a d and h is our f a c so for finding the value of f a d this will be written as f a c cos 30 degree and this is how we uh, resolve this uh, diagonal vector f a c along a d now from here we have got the equation and we don't know the value of AD and FAD and FAC so let's move towards summation V now here summation V is equal to 0 implies means we need to add all the forces in vertical direction and in vertical direction we have RA which is acting upward and upward it will be taken as positive so RA will be positive plus now when we are resolving this FAC with respect to this RA this will also move upward so this will be also written as positive so this will be written as FAC sine 30 degree because we have sine 30 degree is equal to P by H and uh, this is our P F C D by our hypotenuse is FAC so our FCD will be equal to FAC sine 30 degree FCD equals to FAC sine 30 degree see here now uh, write the value of RA and the value of RA is 0 0.29 plus FAC sine 30 degree equal to 0 on solving this we will get divide by sin 30 and uh, this is actually going this uh, out away from the equal to on the other side of equal to so it will be written as negative so we get FAC equals to minus 0 0.58 kilo Newton now after finding the value of FAC put it in the equation we will get the value of FAD now after putting the value of FAC in this equation we have got the value of FAD which was positive now let's consider another point which is point B now here I have drawn the free body diagram of B and again the process is similar first we will need to uh, show the forces acting outward away from the joints this is our joint B and I have considered joint B considering joint B this force F B C is acting away from joint similarly F B D will be acting downward or oh, sorry away from the joint these are the steps that should be taken into consider consideration while finding while solving the numerical based upon the method of joint now uh, we will apply the con um, condition equ equilibrium condition that is summation H is equal to 0 at joint B now see here guys this our FBD is acting toward negative x-axis so this will be written as negative 
for horizontal forces so this will be written as f b d negative again we need to resolve this horizontal forces along f b d this is moving in uh, negative x axis so this uh, f b c on resolving with respect to f b d this will also move in negative x axis so this will again be written as f b c and this will take the base of the triangle which is again cos 30 degree and there is no any other horizontal forces except f b d and f b c cos 30 degree so it will be equal to 0 and we don't know the value of f b d and f b c so this will be remain as a equation now let's move towards summation v equals to 0 while finding the summation v equals to 0 we need to consider the force in vertical direction which will be written as uh, rb is acting in vertical direction which is acting upward so this will be taken as positive rb and on solving uh, this diagonal force fbc uh, with respect to rb this will also take positive direction means upward direction so this will be written as plus f b c and this will from triangle it will be sine 30 degree equals to 0 now write the value we know the value of rb which is positive 1.71 kilo newton plus f b c into sine 30 equals to 0 now it will if this will go away from the, uh, on the other side of the uh, equal to this will written as negative so uh, 1.71 divided by sine 30 it will re be written as minus implies f b c equals to minus 3.42 kilo newton here we have got the value of f b d which is positive plus 2.96 kilo newton now let's consider uh, joint d here we this is our joint d and we already know the value of f a d f b d we need to find the value of f c d again the process is going to be same this is joint d we are considering joint d then force will be represented as acting outward and this 2 kN is already acting downward this is as per the question now let's uh, consider summation v equals to 0 summation v is equal to 0 means force acting in vertical direction is equal to 0 and again the sign convention will be same this 2 kN vertical force is, is do, this 2 kN is acting downward and downward force is taken as negative so this will be written as minus 2 and this uh, FCD will be uh, resolved in vertical direction okay so with respect to this CD we are taking uh, this 60 degree angle here FCD is acting outward so on resolving FCD uh, in vertical direction this will also act in upward positive direction so this will be written as plus and uh, from triangle it will take FCD sine 60 degree equals to 0 and also on solving this we will get the value of FCD now this is the value of FCD let's draw a table of the forces which we have found out and this was our step Five. Step four, and this is our step three. And I hope this video was helpful to all of you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And if this video was helpful, then do like and share this video. And if you want more videos related to civil engineering, as my second video will be on about the design about the method of section so stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel thanks again have a nice day